My name is Julie Doyle and it gives me great pleasure to conduct this marriage ceremony today for Daniel and Jale. So to begin the ceremony, Daniel, would you please state your full name? Daniel Anthony White. Thank you. Jale, would you please state your full name? Charlie Sever Ozakunji. This place in which we are now met has been duly sanctioned according to law for the celebration of marriages. And you are gathered here today to witness the joining in matrimony of Daniel and Jale. If there is any person here who knows of any lawful impediment to this marriage, they should declare it now. <laughs> I do solemnly declare. I do solemnly declare that I know not. That I know not of any lawful impediment. Of any lawful impediment. Why I, Daniel Anthony White. Why I, Daniel Anthony White. May not be joined in matrimony. May not be joined in matrimony. To Jale Siva. Ozakunji. 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 <laughs> to, to, to Jali Seba Ozakunji. Thank you. I do solemnly declare. I do solemnly declare. That I know not. That I know not. Of any lawful impediment. Of any lawful impediment. Why I, Jali Seba Ozakunji. Why I, Jali Seba Ozakunji. May not be joined in matrimony. May not be joined in matrimony. To Daniel Anthony White. To Daniel Anthony White. Word perfect, both of you. <laughs> <laughs> the institution of marriage must be entered into freely, voluntarily, and with the full and unreserved consent of you both. Therefore, do you, Daniel, take Jale here present to be your lawful wedded wife? I do. And do you, Jale? Take Daniel here present to be a lawful wedded husband. I do. <laughs> Two I do, ladies and gentlemen. So now the solemn moment has come for these two persons to make the contract of marriage before you, their witnesses. I, Daniel Anthony White. I, Daniel Anthony White. Take thee, Jale Seba Ozakunje. Take thee, Jale Seba Ozakunje. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. I, Jale Seba Ozakunje. I, Jale Seba Ozakunje. Take thee, Daniel Anthony White. Take thee, Daniel Anthony White. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. Perfect. I promise to love you tenderly. To cherish and respect you. To cherish and respect you. To comfort you with my gentleness. To comfort you with my gentleness. And support you with my strength. And support you with my strength. I promise to walk with you in sorrow and joy. I promise to walk with you in sorrow and joy. Illness and age. Illness and age. Facing life together wherever it may take us. Facing life together wherever it may take us. I promise to be loving, faithful and loyal. I promise to be loving, faithful and loyal. From this day forward. From this day forward. I promise to love you tenderly. I promise to love you tenderly. To cherish and respect you. To cherish and respect you. To comfort you with my gentleness. To comfort you with my gentleness. And support you with my strength. And support you with my strength. I promise to walk with you in sorrow and joy. I promise to walk with you in sorrow and joy. Illness and age. Illness and age. Facing life together wherever it may take us. Facing life together wherever it may take us. I promise to be loving, faithful and loyal. I promise to be loving, faithful and loyal. From this day forward. From this day forward. Ladies and gentlemen, I think they deserve a round of applause. <laughs> <laughs> Jali, I give you this ring. Jali, I give you this ring. As a symbol of our marriage. As a symbol of our marriage. And as an outward sign. As an outward sign. Of the commitment we are making to each other. For the commitment that we are making for each other. Daniel, I give you this ring. Daniel, I give you this ring. As a symbol of our marriage. As a symbol of our marriage. And as an outward sign. And as an outward sign. Of the commitment we are making to each other. Of the commitment we are making to each other. You have both made the declarations prescribed by law, and you've made a solemn and binding contract with each other in the presence of your witnesses, family, and friends here this afternoon. It is my privilege 
and my pleasure to tell you you're now lawfully married. Congratulations, <laughs> you are now husband and wife. And Daniel, you may kiss your bride. Oh. Thanks very much, everyone. I hope you enjoy this humble celebration. And my wife is having the birthday in the same time. We are immensely happy with that. Thank you for your joining us and enjoying it together here. I hope everything is okay what you wanted it. And if any complaints, put in the red box, please, there. <laughs> so we will return to you. I'd like to thank uh, both of Jali's parents. You both are amazing people. Not only do you continuously share knowledge and wisdom, whether it's about life, business, stories, or genuinely pushing and giving me advice, you also believe in me and overall have accepted me into such a beautiful family. Thank you. I'd like to thank my family for raising me. I wouldn't be the man I am today without the guidance of you all. You've given me sports support, manners, my drive, sense of humor, and I'd like to thank you all for doing an incredible job. Like, yeah, yeah, you know what? I do want to say thank you for everybody for coming today, and I know you do tend to hear that at every wedding that you go to, but I think today it does actually mean something because I know there's people who've flown in here from all over the world. It does mean something to this man. We were up till half past three this morning with. Dan pouring his out to me in that bedroom and I'm sorry Mabel, he's coming out. <laughs> I don't think you all get how much it really does mean to these two to have you lot under one roof all together and he's and in Dan's words he kept saying it don't make sense to me that all these people here today are to see me and Charlie. They're not here to see another friend or another family member that you've all turned up to see them and I know it means a million things to thee so thank you very thank very you. very much for making the effort I've come from a fairly small family and being an only child words can't describe how happy I am to call Minim and Felice my sisters I'd like to thank you all for your great support to Jali over the last few months if everyone could raise their glasses to the bridesmaid please the Jale is one of our oldest, and me and my wife, in the younger days, we always wish she's a lad, but she comes as a lass. And I said, okay, we will maybe keep another time. So I tried another time, the second one came along. Here we go. My mom said, you have a salt and uh, onion. I said, okay, mom. I tried the third one, then another Mina came along. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This man is not a boy's father, he's going to be a daughter's father. When Dan first asked me to be his best man, uh, I won't lie, I was extremely pleasantly surprised. I'm sure most of you know, you know, we've not known each other years and years, and it was a real pleasant surprise to me and, and, and a great, great honour, mate. And, you know, when Dan first asked me, he came around to my house with lovely box, beautiful ribbon wrapped round it, you know, and I thought, no idea what's going on here. So, opens it up and there lies a beautiful bottle of whiskey with a little note round it, will you be my best man? And when he first, first asked me that, I thought, yeah, I'll do anything for a free bottle of whiskey. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, I'd had a, a bit of a scarab warning off Charlie about things maybe not to say in my best man speech with Mr. Oz being here and, uh, and a lot of the, your Turkish family. So I thought I won't embarrass you with, you know, tales of, you know, how you got jumped upon by a random gay German man in a tent with Andy in Yosemite Park when you thought you had a raccoon trying to get you or... <laughs> you know, I, 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 I didn't, I didn't want to sort of put those stories in there. Or like, you know, when your first date, when Charlie left you out in the rain and cold for an hour while she painted her nails. <laughs> Just because. Two hours. Two hours. That's right. All because she didn't want Mr. Oz to know you were there. When he first asked me, I started thinking, right, I'm going to do this, so let's start thinking about, you know, 
what do I need to do as a best man? I thought, you know, number one, organise a great stag do, which I hope you had, I hope you enjoyed it, boys. Number two, on the big day, look after the rings, make sure Dan doesn't do a disappearing act, like he did on stag do, <laughs> twice. Number three, write a best man speech. And if the first two were easy, the third one for me were quite difficult, because you know your traditional best man speech, you share your tales, etc, etc. But as I say, I've not known Dan years and years and years and years like some of you lads have and it feels to me like I have known them years because they're probably two of the most warm and welcoming people I've ever met in my life. You know, you've opened up to me and, and Vicky and you really have sort of, you know, let us in and we've had some great times together and I feel like I have known you years. We are immensely happy with her. She did work very hard her career, and she's got a lot of physiosm, the same as the Dunny. They match each other, and the level head come, and the collective, and we are over the moon with you to be joining us, Dunny, or we're joining it to you. And we wish you all the best in the future, both of you. And the best thing in the life, of course, you're gonna keep loving each other, and sometimes desires kicks in, but keep it on the side, <laughs> and don't tell your wife. <laughs> Dan's quite a private man and he's, he's not a close book but you know he's very sort of in on himself he doesn't express himself in a million ways but if there's one time in his life that he really really does let his guard go it's whenever he's with you Charlie. It's a time when you see him he loosens up he smiles he laughs he jokes and that's how you know that a man's truly, truly made for you. I've never met anybody like you two. You support each other in everything you do, that you're always there for each other. I don't think I've ever seen you argue. When I'm with you, Dan and Jale rings you. You don't answer the phone normally. <laughs> you know, you always answer it with a quirky opening line and how great it is to hear from her, even though she left you 10 minutes ago. It's when you add all those little bits up that I think that's how you can tell that you two really are perfect and you're gonna have the most amazing life together. You're gonna go on an amazing journey, you're gonna go around America and you will have the best life with the best memories. You've got a great support circle and it's exciting to see where you guys are going to go. My best advice is to you, and uh, cherish and love. The life is a big step. Now and again, you go up like that, you go down. But as long as you are alive, you always go up. Keep everything here and your heart, and I'm sure you're going to be winners. So today, my lovely people here, and you made my day, and you made my beautiful wife there, her days. Thank you very much deep of my heart, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the near future. I will raise my glass for the Jale and the Dan, bride and groom. Hey! Thank you, thank you. Jale tells me I don't hold a hand enough, but I'll always hold a hand when it matters. I'll be there as a shoulder to cry on, and I'll be there as someone to laugh with. I will support you in everything you do, and I will guide you into making the right decisions in life. I know you will do the same for me, and thank you for your guidance, support, advice, humour, passion, drive, knowledge. You are the most beautiful bride. I'm happy to call such a beautiful, intelligent, funny, glamorous, beautiful soul, human being, my best friend and wife. I'm so looking for our spirits to be drawn together, so we can spend a happy and fulfilling adventure of a life together.